right, what's up everyone? Red Mirror with Electric Scooter Guy. We got Mitchell and Paul out here. Boom. What's up? Paul's over here. Is it gonna follow me? Dang, it is. We got Paul over here. So we're out here in Alameda, California, because we're gonna race three of the fastest scooters in the world. The InMotion RS Midnight, the Wolf King GTR, and the E-Move Roadster. I'm scared. That's Mitchell. What's up, guys? I'm about to race some scooters. The goal of the day is to not die, but to also see which one's the fastest. Just kidding, we know which one's the fastest is. So I don't get the point of this video. We've seen this go head to head with the Wolf King GT versus the Nami way back when, uh, but we've never got three scooters up at the same time because we just didn't have enough room. But today you'll see we've got a ton of space to work with. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go see what they look like side by side, who's fastest. And we're gonna put the lightest guy on the slowest scooter. So I lose this one. Um, but, uh, but we'll see, maybe I'll win because I'm lighter. He might win because he's not scared. I don't know if I'm uh, up to the task to go on full speed. But yeah, today driving technique might actually come yeah. into play. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, and also actually something interesting is the GTR has traction control. We'll see if that helps it get off the line faster with, with less wheel spin. So you might see the GTR initially jump ahead of the other two scooters, but we'll have to see. Yeah, so I apologize to all and everyone out there who's gonna say, oh, that guy was, he was just scared on the scooter. That's true. I have kids, I just had a newborn last week, so, nah. <laughs> 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 Same. We have kids. Paul has no kids, so he doesn't get it. Yeah, so he's full metals, you know, pedal to the metal type of guy. But we have our safety gear on. We have gloves, some of us do. I've got a full armored bodysuit underneath here. So guys, don't worry. If I take a spill, there will be no road rash. Yeah, Paul has this full motorcycle racing gear on, as you can see. We'll leave a link in the description on where you can get yours at. But Paul, model, give us a model spin right now. Spin around, Paul. Ooh, ooh, ooh. $1,000 helmet with $400 gloves and my $1,000 riding suit, I'm all set. Yep, he's set. He's paid and he's set. Miking up, getting the scooters ready, getting the 360s mounted, and then we're gonna go out there. We're getting ready to go out. <clears throat> we have the Wolf King GTR, which was for a while the fastest scooter we ever tested. We have the InMotion RS, which is amazing, and this is the Midnight Edition, looks gorgeous. And of course, the world's fastest production scooter, the uh, E-Move Roadster. Oh, and there's my tape. And uh, but Mitchell, let's get your thoughts. So what do you think of the three scooters, like realistically? Realistically, I think the the RS, while it will be the slowest of the three in my opinion, I think that's about as high as realistically you wanna go. If you're looking for something that is actually practical and you're not just getting something that, for the sake of getting a crazy over the top scooter, that's about as high as you wanna go. The GTR is a little bit too much for me to handle personally, especially with the traction control off and with the low handlebars. Um, and then the Roadster is just like, I mean, it's an amazing scooter, but it's also just so far above what I think anyone needs. So, you know, it's fun to ride them around, but to me, the RS is the one that stands out as like an actual practical electric scooter and that's also really fast and really fun. You know what else I think? I just watched Mitchell ride up on the RS. It is the coolest looking scooter. And I'll show you, I mean, Mitchell's stance especially looks cool. As. Mitchell, can you do a quick spin for us? Sure. I, I just want to show you guys what I mean. Cause like, there's just something super cool about this scooter. It just looks so low slung and so sporty. Um, especially the midnight edition here in black. Um, you guys will see what I mean. There he goes. <laughs> he is fast. We're gonna pack it up and get out to the starting line. Okay, I am starting on the Wolf King GTR and I think I'm gonna run this, yeah. I kinda like it better in the traction control mode. Maybe after I get a little bit more comfortable on it, I'll run it without traction control. I don't know. I think maybe I will need the, the, the traction control off to get the most out of it. The nice, that's what I like about this scooter is the traction control. That's like by far its best feature, like the ability to kind of wrangle in what would otherwise be a, uh, a tricky scooter to control. I'll show you. Hold up on this thing. Okay, now it puts it into track mode, tracking control off. Yeah, I mean, it's so much wheel spin. I think, I think you probably like, do get a little bit faster times 
but it is something you really have to lean into like you have to lean way down and way forward and it's just a stupid amount of power I'll also say that this one is the least accommodating of taller riders. Like, the bars are pretty low. You have to get in a very low squat to feel really comfortably planted on this thing if you're over like six feet tall. This is the best off-roader of the bunch though. It will have the advantage oh, in, uh, in dirt conditions, <laughs> which we're not doing today. Uh -huh. What's up, here? Hey. How you feeling? Oh, I'm pretty nervous. Nervous? Yeah, I feel good, but it just, I don't know. This is not my most familiar scooter that we have. Yeah. It's uh, my first time riding it today, and we're doing a drag race. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, just make sure that, uh, yeah, as long as your stance is okay. I think that's the big thing is like, as long as you're properly stance down i think it should be fine all right so the strategy is in case anybody's wondering you know we do weigh different amounts ramir is going to go on the scooter that we've tested that we know to be the fastest um and i'm you know no spoilers here if you've seen our videos uh <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell's gonna be riding the GTR, and then I am gonna ride the InMotion RS, which is fast, but not quite as fast as the other scooters. But to have a chance, it's gotta have the lightest rider, and that's me. All right, so we're heading out to the starting line. I got it marked off in these orange cones out here. You'll see them as we get a little closer. It's gonna take us a little bit to set up, because we're gonna try and get a drone out here, too. A little behind the scenes, what it takes to shoot something like this. We've got, uh, got our little DJI uh, Pocket Mini here. We've got the uh, GoPro on the finish line. We're all gonna try not to run that one over. Uh, we've got a scooter here that's kind of showing us where the shot is gonna be. We've got the area all coned off and Ramir is way down there, way down there somewhere, uh, getting the drone out. And we're gonna try to put the drone in the air while we're doing all this. So here on the starting line, we got Mitchell on the GTR. We have Ramir on the E-Move Roadster, the world's fastest production scooter, and I'm on the RS because I'm the lightest and this scooter is uh, was not as fast as the other two when we tested them. All right, um, everybody ready? Yes. <clears throat> okay, one, two, three. Oh, I got the whole shot. Wow, that was unexpected. I think we need a rematch. I think we may need to retest the RS Midnight because this feels faster than the yellow one. I did not expect that race to be so close. Yeah, you, you uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's your way or your experience or what, but you, you beat us off the line pretty hard. Also, I'm the, um, also, I'm the one calling the numbers, so maybe I had the advantage there, but, uh, but let's try it again. We'll see. I'm going to do, I'm going to run this one, uh, with traction control, because I got a ton of wheel spin. Let's see if it makes any difference. All right. Sounds good. Okay. So on three, we'll go one, two throttle. Okay. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, much more even start that time. I still got the whole shot because of my weight. <laughs> this is way closer than I thought it was going to be. Way more fun. The, tra the track mode does also unlock a top, higher top speed, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't have, you can't can't have, have the... both. That's one of the things I, that I wished I had uh, when we did the review of the GTR is I wish I could have the full top speed but also have traction control. Cause I, yeah. Yeah, and just let the traction control do its thing. But it also tames the scooter a little bit, which I didn't love. Right, yeah. okay. <laughs> you never right. this one should be oh this one should be good because doing no track control so full power and i think i did go a little late on the first one i waited till yep. i heard three and then i pushed off so the one two throttle i think 
helped with the timing. Yeah, that was a much more even, uh, much more even launch that time. You know, another thing I thought about the GTR is the little handle on the battery makes it so it's harder to get kind of your foot all the way forward. Right. And so it makes it a little bit harder to launch too because you can't. It's hard to get that weight right, up, all, the the weight up all the way up, all the way up on the handlebars. Yeah. It all the way against the the handle. You ready, Ramir? All right, here we go. One, two, three. All right, so now if we want to get ridiculous, we can put the lightest, lightest one on the fastest scooter. Yeah, there's... just to see. Yeah, I'll take how, how far, how, how much of a lead did I have on that? Yeah, lot. good lead. Okay. I think good. I just needed to get a better launch. Yeah, that was a good launch. I had a horrible launch, so I lost. But this thing it drew down when I went. Oh uh, yeah. I tried to turn it back. It'll be all right. I'm on the roadster. Ah, oh, that. Or he's trying to win. Now we got the lightest guy on the fastest scooter. We got Ray Mir on the GTR. We've got Mitchell on the In Motion RS Midnight, and I'm on the Roadster. All right, on three, one, two, three. Oh yeah! <laughs> bye bye. This thing is so good. Okay, Ramir just had maybe the best quote ever about the Roadster. Oh yeah, I said it's something like a roller coaster. Like, you know how you get on a ride and you think it's gonna come to an end, but it just keeps going, keeps going. That's how I felt about this and the speed. Like, I was, you know, I thought it was gonna stop, but you know, it had some more. It had some more go. It had some more go. So, I don't envy Paul at all on his speed runs because that's crazy. We out here rolling. So it seems like Mitchell with the GTR is the most potent combination. Absolutely gapped them. <laughs> Except for the part where I won on the Roadster by a mile. So. Yeah, yeah, I won on the Roadster. I mean, on E-Move Roadster a few Actually, times. Actually, we all. Well. Yeah. Yeah, we should let Mitchell ride this so he can. So he can, yeah, he, like can be, he can be a winner too. <laughs> I won with the GTR. <laughs> did you? I did. When? I don't know. What I happened? gapped both of you on one of the GTR runs. The, the end, third though? one. Oh, the third, third one? I one. Th I thought, well, I, I wasn't from the back. It looked like. Third run, you were having issues with the 360. Oh, that's true. Paul just couldn't match my technique. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, honestly, like, uh, clearly technique wins out at the end of the day. Like, Paul just well, smoked us. Technique and, and weight, you know, weight we saw really makes a big difference on, um, on the emotion. I was getting, you know, the whole shot almost every time because, you know, when you're just taking off the line, it's like weight really matters there. At top speed, weight almost doesn't matter at all. It's wind profile at the very at the very top speed, yeah. which we're not getting to today. But right. but um, but yeah, so we're running like a 330 foot um, race course here. Uh, just a, that's a 16th of a mile, and I like that length partly because just we don't want to die. Like we don't want to go 70 miles an hour, right. and some of these guys will. <laughs> right. um, but also because that's about the length of a city block, and so it's a really useful length to see. Like that's the kind of riding you know where you can really use the you know that's a that's a distance where you're going to be able to use the power uh, or you're typically going to be using the power so it's, it's pretty fun and ultimately all three of these are really really good yeah. <laughs> if you're trying to if you're trying to that's, run a city block as fast as you can all yeah. three of these are going to be good options and that's the thing we forget you know every time a new faster scooter comes along we think oh okay this is it and oh that's old now or whatever but it's like no they're all still like really really fast they all scared us you know when they when they first came out they all still do right. and and they're all good at really different stuff i mean the gtr all of the wolf king series ever since the original wolf warrior is like the best performance per dollar um and that has just continued every generation and the gtr is you know still the winner best performance per dollar uh in motion rs certainly the best looking uh and it was one of the most flexible with the different ride heights and the different bar heights and you know amazing performance i had fun racing it uh, down at uh, alpha valley and then we have the roadster which is just the fastest and super cool i mean there's yeah, we could go on and on i think the roadster is also like if you're going to if you want to splurge and get something like this it is one of those scooters that i think will challenge you for a really long time like it's it's not a scooter you can just like pull out of the box 
and ride at the top speeds <laughs> like true. right away like it's something that is if, gets the adrenaline pumping every time i have to get ready for it yeah, yeah. I, like even now i like have to like am i ready am i ready to ride the roadster i don't know yeah and then you just and ray this is your first time really really experiencing the full power of the road yeah this is my first time yeah really just you know cranking it at the top speeds but one thing i will say because i was quite nervous before i started because i've never ridden it before now it was just you know, I kind of thought it was kind of going to be like a dual tron, but it wasn't. So when I got on here and we just started racing, I felt comfortable as soon as we got off the line. And important for me when I ride a scooter, because I once, you know, being a bigger guy, you want to make sure that the scooters can go the speed that it can go. And they can also carry you and also stay stable. And this one did it for me. So yeah, when we did all the other heats, I was really comfortable. And like you said, you need to get used to this, like with this type of speed. But if you're an experienced scooter rider, this is something you can, um, just take out and feel comfortable with. And one thing about all three of these scooters, like you said, these are three different types, but they also have three different types of trigger um, styles too as well. And my favorite, favorite one is normally finger throttle, but with this thumb throttle on this one, I actually, it won me over. This is one of my favorite scooters that we have at the office right now and it's for a good reason so i see all the hype you guys were talking about this scooter and it's, it was you know amazing to finally get on it so it it's funny you mentioned that you mentioned the throttles i hadn't really thought about that today but um that's something that really surprised me on the rs is you know i'm a motorcyclist i love twist throttles i mean i'll take a twist throttle all day long but on the racetrack it was really hard to ride with a with a twist throttle mm -hmm. uh and that's because i'm using these two fingers for the throttle i'm using this finger for the brakes I got these two left to keep me on the scooter. <laughs> and that turned out to be really hard on the racetrack. On the street, it's a completely different story. I love twist throttles on the street. Hate it on the racetrack. Never do it again on the racetrack. And so that was that was kind of fun. But uh, of these three, I, the Roadster is amazing. I love that thumb throttle. Trigger I'll never fully get used to. Um, but uh, I, throttle wise, I'm picking the RS and the Roadster are kind of like even for me. How about yeah. you? What are you I think throttles? if if budget doesn't matter, and I'm not looking at the price at all, I think uh, overall I'm probably taking the RS. But I like the throttle. Well, I, I think I like the trigger throttle the most. Um, I think that's still my favorite. It's been my favorite for a long time, and uh, I don't know. I just feel very confident with the with the trigger throttle. So throttle wise, GTR, full scooter wise, I think I like the RS the most um, overall. What about you? Yeah, for me. I I would say the roaster because it's just a different type of animal and I love animals and beasts, but King is normally my favorite scooter of all time, but I'm going to have to go with the RS Midnight because it looks nice. I like <laughs> the does. all black. Yeah, I didn't like the, the black and yellow on the other one, but with this one, the all black, it reminds me of the, um, the Las Vegas Raiders. So this would be my scooter of choice <laughs> if I had to pick. You know, and it is something we get a hard time about. Sometimes people can't believe they'll be like, you know, what's your favorite scooter? I'm like, ah, and it's like, it out comes this like really long answer. They expect just the name of a scooter. And and uh, and the reason is, is that we really do honestly love all these scooters for different reasons. And they're all really good for different things. And it just, ultimately that's what our reviews are about is kind of trying to help the you guys uh, figure out what it is that you know that we like best about these scooters what each scooter does best and then you guys can decide if that's the thing if the thing that it does best is the thing that's most important to you and because that's ultimately what it comes down to is like if you love the way the rs looks it might be your scooter because all these are fast enough you know if you love carbon fiber if you you know love performance per dollar it just depends on what's important to you so that's why we you know we tend not to pick favorites that much and just try to tell you you know what we think the scooters are about then you know you guys can decide because it's you know, all these scooters are awesome yeah so it was a good test today um you know good race because some of the comments that i see all the time is oh you know paul's on this that fast but it's not going to be it's not going to be that heavy i mean it's not going to be that great with a heavier rider and you know i'm the heaviest out the bunch <laughs> and i won majority of the race but my technique was perfect so yeah i think it lives up to the hype and, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so i guess that's it. it is a conclusion as the <clears throat> If we are picking the ultimate winner in the 330 <laughs> foot race, we have to agree that when it came down to the finish line, Ramir, the, the heaviest of the three of us, winning on the roadster conclusively shows that the roadster is the faster of the three scooters. Whether that's the reason to buy it or not, that it's something you have to decide for yourself. If we're talking about fastest, the roadster remains the champion in that category. Yeah, yeah, twist. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a twist fan either. Like, yeah, every time you go over a curb, you can kind of hit a wheelie. Yeah, yeah. But, that's true. Yeah, you yeah. can watch where the wheelies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you this 
Yeah, a little bit too much. Yeah, we're too much. You just hear Mitchell say, me. I was just more embarrassed than you heard. Y'all would do, guys. Oh, what guy? <laughs> Alright, so we had a ton of fun racing these three scooters against each other. Let us know in the comments which one is your favorite and why, which one you'd take, you know, if money's no object or if you had to pay for it. And let us know if you want us to make more content like this, and we will. And we're out. Stay frosty. <laughs>